this video, we're going to learn that how to create a ledger in uh, SAP S4 HANA Fury app. So here we have this option, the tab, the master data. When you click on this master data, this option will appear here. And uh, here you need to click this box, manage GL account master data. When you click on this manage GL account master data, this window will come. And here you need to enter your chart of account code. In our case, our chart of account code is MR01. And if you want to see that how many ledgers you already created in your chart of account, you need to enter this chart of account code here. And then you click on this go icon. When you click on this go, it will show you, it will give us the list of all the GL accounts which we already created in our chart of account. So I'm going to create a new ledger, which is printing expense account in our chart of account MR01. So the last GL account ID, which we created, that was uh, 6014, which is rent expense. So now I need to create another one, which is 6015 printing expense account. So I have to add a new one. So you need to click on this add icon here. So when you click on this add icon, it will move to the next window. And uh, there you need to enter this header and journal information. This journal information, if you scroll it down, it will come. And then we need to enter the company code data information and the controlling data information. Why controlling data information? Because now in SAP S4 HANA, this controlling that cost element accounting now that is a part of a journal ledger. So here you need to enter in this header. We need to create the GL. We need to enter the GL account number, which is six zero one five, and then we need to enter the journal information, which is now this tab. So the chart of account code that is MR zero one tab, and you need to select the account ID, so, uh, account type, which is primary cost or revenue. Then you need to select the account group that is an asset, expense, income, liability, or secondary cost element. So you need to click this tab and you can click on this go icon. So it will give you the list of all the account groups which we created. So that is an expense. So double click. Then tab the short text that is printing expense account. Then you need to enter that uh, because we are using a group chart of account also. So here you need to enter that group account number. So you need to click this option and our group account chart of account is VB01. You can click on this go icon. It will give us the list of entire chart of account list. So in our group account number that printing expenses to double zero six four so you can just double click that is a group account number that if your company they are using uh, a corporate or group chart of account then you need to enter this group account number then you can scroll it down that is that administration information uh, we are not blocking this one right now block for posting for planning for creation right and that is the translation information. So that is an information we have in this journal tab. That basic information we already enter, translation and change history. So now next step is that you need to enter the company code data. So you need to click this op uh, the tab, company code data. And you have to add a new one. So click on this add icon. So here you need to enter that uh, the company code is MR01 tab. You need to enter the account currency, which is in AED tab. And uh, if you are if you are maintaining balance in the local currency, so you need to click this option on the balance in local currency. And if this account is relevant to tax, you need to select that uh, the tax symbol here. 
and uh, here alternative GL account number that is used for uh, country specific chart of account if you're creating in for your company code so in our case we're gonna select here our chart of account code is BH01 which is our country specific so let's see if printing expense account is there okay right now we don't have that printing expense account created in this chart of account so that is an optional no need to enter right now <coughs> okay then this is account management it is not an open item management sort key i'm gonna enter cost center wise double zero eight and then we have this create bank interest where you need to enter that is the tab which uh, you can also click on this tab create bank interest that is for administration and change history so here in that create bank interest we have this uh, that is an expense account so i'm going to enter t004 with the cost center wise cost account and the rest of that options no need right now these are optional so you can scroll it up and say press ok so that is that uh, the company code data information and now i want to enter the controlling data so if you click on this controlling data it will move here so that is our controlling area and that is enforced element category you need to select here so which is primary cost cost producing revenue click on this go icon that is primary cost cost reducing revenue double click and uh, this is how you need to set up your or this is how we need to create a ledger in uh, sap s4 hana fury and then you need to click on the save icon to create to save this gl account so account has been uh, saved successfully and if you want to see that our gl account number is 6015 and i want to see in our uh, on our on premises edition so here you can enter the gl account code fs00 and uh, our company code is mr01 so the gl account which we created that is 6015 so if you want to see that account is there press enter that is 6015 so printing expenses there you can click on this pencil icon so in the type and description we have this primary cost or revenue expenses short text and long text we enter this group account number also control data only balance and local currency short key is there cost element category is there and in create bank interest we have this cost account the field status is there so this is how you need to create a ledger on cloud on sap s4 hana fury app